right, guys. Um, I'm going to be trading this bin of Legos here, you see. It's got some placements and um, just some other random Lego pieces. I'll be trading this and uh, about 20 bucks for an amazing Craigslist deal. I uh, might not be able to get any video footage of that, so I'm going to tell you what I'm trading in right now. Trading this guy. 20 bucks in this, this bin of Legos right here. Yeah, it's, it's not that high. It's, it's, it's almost as high as this bin. Because this is where this is as high as it goes right here, and I'm almost touching some of the Legos. So it's kind of high. Um, a childhood friend had given this, these to me four or five years ago. I just threw them in my closet, and uh, I'll be trading this in 20 bucks for something. So I'll let you guys know what I get. All right, guys, it's kind of hard to uh, take video right now, but um, this is just one of the boxes that I got today. Uh, I couldn't really. Uh, take video re really quick it took like less than a few minutes to uh, make this Craigslist deal happen, but uh, there's the box of one of the stuff and then uh, I'm coming up on the red light real fast. I'll show you what's in this box. Hopefully there's a rock band drum sitting there in a few games So uh, Yeah I'll be showing you guys more in depth of what some of this stuff is in the pickup video Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tua Guy coming at you with another episode. You might see this box here. Yeah, this box off to the side. Um, let me just uh, pick the camera up and kind of show you guys what's... Uh, yeah, there's a ton of stuff in there. And this box is very big. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got in this Craigslist deal. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to get started with that. I'm going to move the box to the side. And I'm just going to show you everything that I got. Keep in mind, I paid $20 in a little, like, Walmart sack full of Legos. Of Legos for all of this. And at the end, I'll explain what I've already traded. So, holy moly, are there already a lot of PlayStation 1 titles. Um, Alright. Going to get straight into it here with driver 2, memory card holder with a memory card inside of it. There we go. I'm going to blow by these real fast. Spec Ops, Ranger Elite, Wheel of Fortune, Billiards, Tomb Raider 2, Supercross 98. Die Hard Trilogy 2. Might give that a play, I don't know. A 007 The World is not enough. Gran Turismo 2. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2. Actually, I think this is the wrong... Yeah, it's actually Medal of Honor Underground. So, in the wrong case. Move this stack over. Weakest Link, which I did not know they made a game of Weakest Link. I might just keep that just for nostalgia or something. For nostalgia for GSN. Uh, saltwater Sports Fishing, I think. I don't care enough. Uh, Caesar's Palace 2000. Really interesting in a long box, even though it's got one disc in a very long box. Another memory card holder. There's a memory card in there. not going to show you too, too slow. Um, Destruction Derby Raw, and then just a loose copy of Gran Turismo. Those are all the PlayStation games. I set those over to the side so they don't tip over or anything. Uh, the next thing I'll show you are the Xbox games. Um, there are not many cased games, so I'm just going to get started with those. Uh, Mustang, The Legend Lives. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 06 sports game and Project Gotham Racing 2. The rest of these are in this Xbox 360 case, which I'm just going to go through and just basically show you what they are. Not really going to spend any much time on it. So we've got, oops, got Burnout 2, uh, 
World War II combat uh, 007 from Russia with Love, Pirates of the Caribbean, Spider Man, Xbox, Shell Shock, Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk Underground, uh, Clone Wars, Tetris, um, Dance Dance Revolution, Ultra Mix 2, which I'll get to that in a second. There's something actually in this box that goes with that. Uh, Karaoke Revolution also, uh, Flat Out. Uh, Call of Duty, the big red one, uh, The Herbs, Sims in the City, True Crime, L.A., Heroes of the Pacific, Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, pretty cool, uh, Call of Duty, Finest Hour, uh, Medal of Honor, European Assault, uh, Crimson Skies, High Road, something, uh, Sega Sports, and the other game, uh, Brothers in Arms, Road to the Hill, 3D30, maybe. Uh, Medal of Honor frontlining in for the Xbox. And then World Championship Poker. So those are all the loose disc games. And this is the Mountain Dew case, by the way. Need for Speed Most Wanted was the most popular game in this, by far. Let's put those over the side and we'll save those for last. Um, now we're getting into the PlayStation 2. Uh, let me sort some of these out first. Alright, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock, empty case, didn't come with it. Uh, Suzuki Superbikes, Puzzle Challenge, Mojo, Ultimate Board Game Collection, which I might actually keep that because it's, uh, it's got like Mahjong and Checkers and Chess or something. I don't know, might keep that for someone else. Pirates, Legends of the Black, uh, Bu Buccaneer, uh, 007 Nightfire, Rebel Raiders, Operation Nighthawk. Yep, uh, and then these two are sealed. Uh, I got DT Racer, and then another Super Bikes, a uh, real road racing. Uh, these are both sealed copies of this game, as you can see, and you can hear it too. These are both sealed, never been played before. Uh, so that's really kind of cool to find a sealed game, even if it is like a racer game, you know, it's still sealed. And so there's all the PS2 stuff. Um... I also want to point out, I also got a PlayStation 2 memory card that's brand new, never been opened. Go ahead to the side. Alright, so here are all these Super Nintendo games. There is actually quite a big stack of them. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what they all are. So, I got Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure. Family Feud. Um... Save this one for later. I'll talk about that one in a minute. Uh, NHL 95. Uh, Mario Paint. Really cool. I don't have this one. Um, Super Mario Kart, the Player's Choice Edition, though. So that's really cool to find, even though it is the uh, Player's Choice Edition. Uh, Super Mario World. Common game. Uh, seen it all the time. Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. Porky Big's Haunted Holiday, if you can see that. Setting this one aside. Uh, Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. Or, yeah, it is Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. Uh, setting this one aside for now. Uh, Miss Pac-Man. And, really weird, it the there doesn't really have a sticker on the back. Uh, the Pac-Man games don't have a sticker on the back of them. Whereas, you know, like, uh, Porky's Pig's. It's got a sticker on the back, but these don't. Really strange, uh, if you ask me. And then I got Aladdin. Uh, but these three, these three I want to show you were really awesome. Um, I didn't know these would be included, but I got Donkey Kong Country 1 for the Super Nintendo. Donkey Kong Country 2, and then also Donkey Kong Country 3. So I got the full set all in this thing in Donkey Kong Country. That is amazing. I'm just going to show that right there. This is probably really cool. I, I, haven't, I, haven't, I don't have any of the Donkey Kong Country, so I'll be keeping those definitely. I think I just got two Game Boy Advance games. Uh, one is Game & Watch Gallery. Uh, it's, all, it's an okay game, I've heard. And then the next one is The Simpsons. Uh, Treehouse in Horror. It's a Game Boy Color game. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a Simpsons game, trust me. Simpsons. 
Uh, so those were those two Game Boy games. Uh, not expensive at all. The next thing I'd like to show, though, is a memory card for the Nintendo 64. But it's not just any memory card. It's an EA Sports uh, memory card for the Nintendo 64. And it's got the EA Sports games from the year 1999 on it. So I don't know if you can see it that well. Let me see if, let me see if I can focus on it. Probably not. Alright, well, it looks like I can't focus on it. But, nonetheless, it is a memory card. If I can get it open, it's in a very, very tight case. I think it just squeezed on it the last time. Well, it's not coming open, but um, I want to move along in this video. And it's just an expansion pack with all the sports games on the memory card. It's really strange. I've never seen something like that before. And it's the only item for the Nintendo 64 that was in this, which is really kind of strange. Alright, moving on to the NES games. There's only six of them, but man, they knock them out of the park. Um, first, though, is Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, most common game ever. Uh, second would be SNK Championship Series for baseball. Yeah, my camera is out of focus now. Now you guys already know what my big secret was. Um, Dracula's Curse. Uh, this is Castlevania 3, it's Dra Dracula's Curse. Uh, really, this is a really good game. I'll probably be keeping that one. And then, Rad Racer. But, I got two in-box games. Um, one of them is 1942. It's in, it's kind of beat up, but, you know, it comes with a box. Uh, it's really cool. Um, let me see if I can take it out and show you guys. The cartridge is okay, it's got some writing on it, but... Not bad, if you ask me. A box NES game is always good. And then uh, I got MIG-29 Soviet Fighter. Probably not pronouncing it right. Um, so there's the game for that. It's silver. It's really nice to see that. So that's really awesome. That's all the NES stuff. I'll get later. I'll talk later about the uh, NES console that came with this that you probably won't be seeing. So just some more of the uh, the consoles now. I'll get into the consoles. Um, I got a Sony PS1. This is the uh, second one that doesn't have the serial port. Um, really nice condition. I gotta say, really great to see that. Um, like the best Super Nintendo I think I've ever seen. There's no yellowing on this console at all. This must have been, the person who had this must have like never ever played on this, ever, because this is in like flawless condition, amazing shape, no scuffs, no scratches, stickers kind of coming off right here, but everything is just perfect about this console, nothing wrong with it ever, so I'll set this off to the side, and then... I got also an original Xbox, the big beef thing, this thing weighs heavy. Try holding one of these in your hand with just one hand. Yeah, I bet you'll drop it the first time. So let's set that on the bottom. All of these systems came with controllers, so I really don't feel like showing all of those, especially the power cords and everything, but I will show you uh, some honorable um, mentions and some of the more rare things you don't ever see that much. Uh, what I have is an NES Max controller. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's, uh, I've never had one of these before and so it looks a little, to be a little loose to me, but uh, maybe I can fix that. And there's a rattle in there, so that goes to the NES. Alright, so you guys might have heard me talk earlier about the Konami uh, microphone. Um, the Konami games like Dance Dance Revolution and everything. Here's the Konami microphone for it. Uh, this goes directly to the Xbox and plays just on the Xbox. That's really cool. I also have a uh, Mad Cats. It's like an MP3 player kind of thing. And you, but it gives with little adapters for like the memory card. So this memory card goes to the Xbox. And it's via USB. So you can put this in and play music. 
and things like that. Headphone jack right there. It's, I've never seen one of these before by Madcats. So that's really cool. And you can switch it from Xbox to PS2 to PC. So, and the volume button's right there. So that's really nice. I've never seen anything like that before. It's really interesting and unique. Also with this, I got a uh, NES Zapper. Really good condition. Really nice. The gray one, not the other one. Also, uh, I got two Super Nintendo controllers with this. So, two Super Nintendo controllers is always nice. These are in really good condition, by the way. Uh, no yellowing, no nothing. So, that's really awesome. One of the things you don't see that often, though, is the Super Nintendo mouse, uh, which went with Mario Paint and things like that. So, it's really nice to see that. You got the little ball down there. So, yeah. Uh, I'm... I don't know if I'll keep this or not. I'll, if I do, I'll bond it off with Mario Paint if I decide to keep that or not. So, there's that. So, the rest of these things that you guys see, um, that's all I got besides all the controllers. Like, I could share with you the Xbox controller Mad Cats thing that's wireless and it's yeah it's not really worth mentioning because you know I've there's a lot in this thing already um, but in this lot came came with a uh, NES and uh, the the tray was missing like the cover door for the tray was missing and um, I might be able to send you a picture, guys. So, the picture's right here. This is what it looked like. Um, and so, I went by uh, Gamers World right here. And I already sneak peek of what I got. I went by Gamers World. Uh, they're in Huntsville. And um, they gave me really good credit for it. I traded the Nintendo Entertainment System and two uh, Sony PS1 controllers for these two games. Um, I got Creature from the Krusty Krab. GameCube because I've been really looking for this one that I'll complete the GameCube uh, one for Spongebob and then I also got WarioWare uh, for the GameCube but I got this because it had the manual for it and I've been looking for the manual for this game for a long time so that was really good uh, so all of this you see all all of this let's see if I can get all of this on camera all of this and then all the stuff that you guys see in here, like the random controllers, microphones, and whatnot, uh, all paid for $20 by and uh, a box of Legos that had just been sitting in my closet. So, um, yeah, to give you a clear image of what's going on there. But yeah, guys, this is a massive a haul, and it was really great. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the other episodes in this playlist series. And, um, you know, if, if you want to rate, comment, or subscribe, that's fine. Um, be sure to do that. And uh, as always, guys, peace out. Make sure to check out some more videos.